just a few days into the new year and we have had some horrific incidences. Starlet Wahoo, Rita Waeni, murdered. Today on Sitam Church Online, I want us to talk about stranger danger. My name is George Muricho and I welcome you as we think through these shocking incidences. As I've already mentioned, those two young ladies, Starlet Wahoo, 26-year-old socialite, and Rita Waeni, 20-year-old university student, both of them murdered. Brutally, one was stabbed and bled uh, because of the blood loss, she died, and then the other was dismembered. And these stories have sent shockwaves into our psyche as a nation. The sad thing though is that oftentimes something grabs our, our attention as human beings, you know, it just consumes our mental bandwidth for a bit and then shortly it's relegated to the back burner, there's something else that comes as the new headline. But before that happens, here are a few things we need to think through whenever we're talking about stranger danger. That term is often used with little ones, with children, and it's a way of helping them not to be naive or gullible. It's a way of them being, being alert insofar as their engagements with people that they may not be familiar with. And I'm using this term in reference to what happened to Rita. Rita Waini was in touch with this person, and uh, as the story goes, she was not really aware of who he was but he kept on hitting her inbox on IG, Instagram and uh, she got in touch with him. She went to that short stay residence and as they say the rest is his history. Tragic tale, tragic story. What I want to highlight are a few things for us to be careful lest we fall into the trap of stranger danger. Number one, we need to be vigilant. In these days where there are many, many people seeking to take advantage of others, we need to be especially vigilant on our engagements online, digital spaces, social media platforms. You and I need to exercise caution that's another thing that you and I need to keep front and center, that as you are engaging with different ones, there's a need for you to exercise caution. Remember that what happened to them happened under the guises of someone who they thought, ah, I didn't have bad intentions, but what started off well ended up as a tragedy. So there's need for us to exercise caution. The other thing is checking in on our instincts. There's a sixth sense God has given us, and they say that uh, for ladies especially, it's particularly strong. And this sixth sense is what is referred to as your intuition, your gut feeling before you sign that contract, before you enter that relationship, before you go on that date, before you accept that offer, before you send out the money, even though this person has called you time and time again, because these are days of fraud. There's a need to check in on your instincts, check in on your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? Is it throwing red flags all over the place? I submit to you, do not ignore those red flags. There's need to actually listen. If the traffic lights are saying red, don't just be oblivious of them and drive past them as if they are saying green. Check in on your instincts. These are things that we will do well to remember because as Proverbs says, a wise person, a prudent person sees danger and he makes the necessary arrangements. He's able to secure himself in light of the dangers. This is a call to ensure that you are not gullible, you're not naive, you're not like sleeping beauty. You have that sense of vigilance, a sense of social awareness, and indeed exercising caution. And I pray that God would watch over especially our young ladies, be it our sisters, be it our daughters, be it the older ones, our mothers, our aunts. In this day where there's much femicide, we are praying for God's protection over our ladies and we're pushing back against those acts of violence and we're praying that God's justice will surely flow like the waters. God bless you and watch out for stranger danger. Thank you.